delay and those technical difficulties. Appreciate you staying with us. And I want to thank you for being here tonight. If you're here tonight, I assume it's because you got an invitation to join us tonight because you're a precinct leader. One of the most important roles that you can play, not only for this campaign, but in the political system. Because the truth is, is that the precinct leader program is the most valuable thing that you can do to help Rob Paul and to take back our country. There's only 180,000 precincts in this whole country. And the truth is, is that if we had 180,000 Ron Paul supporters who are committed to doing the work of a precinct captain, which is very simply just to contact the voters that are in your precinct and find out where they stand on the issues, what kind of issues they care about, who are the candidates that currently appeal to them. Because what you're doing is you're looking for the needle in the haystack. And I want to talk to you first, perhaps give you an example from my own precinct in my own state. Missouri is a, we had a primary on uh, February 5th. And in that primary, all of the delegates uh, were bound to the winner of that primary. But I want you to understand that those delegates, while being bound to the winner of that primary, do not belong to the winner of that primary. They are not necessarily his supporters. The next step in Missouri is a local caucus, and that happens on March 15th. And at those local caucuses, our supporters will gather <coughs> um, in their county and they will elect delegates and alternates to the next step of the process in Missouri, which is the Congressional District Convention, who will then elect delegates to the state convention. I can tell you for sure that we will have a far greater turnout for those caucuses than anyone imagined that was possible. And I think what you'll see is that we will win quite a lot of delegates out of Missouri. I want to give you a couple of encouraging reports from some of the caucuses that are going on in some of the other states. Just some of the comments that I have gotten from people just like you who really didn't know too much about this political process and just decided, okay, I'm going to do what the campaign has asked us to do. I'm going to step in and I'm going to go to these caucuses. Even though I don't understand the process, even though I don't really understand what they do, I'm going to go and show up. So let me give you a couple of reports here. As far as I know, all the Ron Paul supporters that are mass meeting one precinct delegate slots. I think our Ron Paul turnout percentage was higher than any of the other contenders there. We had 37% of the people who were at our mass meeting were Ron Paul supporters. Here's another one. We had a great turnout in my county. I couldn't believe how pleased they were to see us all. All I kept hearing was how much they loved seeing us and how much the GOP needed us and our organizing ability. How about this one? It was painless and it was easy at our location. I was selected to be the credentials committee chairman and I was also the secretary for the convention. Also the chair asked if I would be a precinct leader for the GOP and uh, eight Ron Paul delegates were elected from our county convention to the state convention. Here we come. Four delegates from my precinct mass meeting and I'm the vice chairman now. The chairman spoke of introducing me to state senators and congressmen and letting me learn more through her office at the board of elections. She was very pleased to have such an enthusiastic young Republican. Of 33 registered uh, members present, I could identify 12 Ron Paul supporters. We wound up with 43% of the delegates that were selected at our local mass meeting. Out of 12 delegates, delegate slots, we got eight of them. So I want you to understand how critically important it is that each one of you participate in the delegate process within your state. It is the most important thing that you can do by being a precinct captain, helping us to identify other Ron Paul supporters in your precinct and turning them out to vote when we need for them to, whether it be at your primary election or at your local caucus. The process is really quite simple. You just simply sign up on our website and uh, we have a very simple three-step process. The first one we call voter ID. And we had a question earlier, someone was a little bit discouraged about having made a lot of calls and, and not getting very many Ron Paul supporters. But I want you to understand that what you're looking for is the needle in the haystack. I realize that you may have a thousand names on your precinct list that you need to call and that you might call a hundred names or even 150 names before you find a Ron Paul supporter. But the important thing is that you press through and find every one of those Ron Paul supporters and I'll explain why. In my own precinct, there was 100 votes that were cast in the primary election, only 100. So obviously, if I got 35% of the vote in my precinct, had I been home to be the precinct captain that I needed to be, Ron Paul would have won my precinct in Missouri. 
So the numbers that we need are not as huge as you might think. If you, you think in terms of consuming a very large, bloated elephant, the way that you do it is one precinct at a time, one precinct leader at a time. And so the truth is, is that if you want to see this revolution continue, there is only one way that it will happen now and in the future. And that is that each one of us take responsibility for our own backyard. If we take responsibility for getting to know our neighbors and the voters in our precinct, and we find out who cares about the same kind of issues that we care about, and we befriend them so that they trust us, and then when it's time that we need for them to turn out and vote at a caucus or at a primary, they will have much more respect for us and be much more inclined to do those very things that we needed. So it is critically important that you become a precinct leader and that you actually work the program. I know that we have a lot of you out there who are signed up and you've made a couple of calls, got a little afraid, didn't get the kind of response that you thought that you should get, but I want you to know that's normal. That is absolutely normal and it is the case for any candidate. Most of the calls that you are going to make are not going to be the ones who are going to be supporting your candidate. It's important that you press through and find those that are because those are the ones that are important for you to befriend and turn out at those local caucus processes. Lou, what else do we need to talk about tonight? I love how he puts me in front of the camera and makes me talk. Oh. The second oh. step, I can talk about the second step on that process. Is that which one you do? Sure. Okay. So uh, we have voter ID, which is those calls that you make. And by the way, if you haven't used the system yet, I know some of you are signed in and have not used the system yet. It's very easy. It will actually appear on the screen, the, the first call that you need to make, and even the script that you need to read to these people. And basically, if you're doing voter ID, we're asking them a couple of quick questions. If the election were held today, who would you vote for? And you read off a list of candidates and you simply mark their response. The second question, um, we have a question concerning the war. And another one is whether or not they intend to vote. When they get, when they get done asking, answering just these couple of questions that we have you ask them, you will know exactly which voters in your precinct support another candidate, which ones are Ron Paul supporters, and which ones have not yet made up their mind. Obviously, those ones that have already committed to another candidate, you really don't want to waste too much time on any longer. As a matter of fact, I really wouldn't waste any more time on that because they've already made up their mind and it's much easier for you to spend your time working with the people who have committed to work to support Ron Paul. You found out there are other Ron Paul supporters or they're not decided. But if you follow the steps that we've given you and you've made that first voter ID phone call, then that next step to the undecided voters is much, much easier because not only do you know that they really aren't sure who they're going to vote for yet, you've asked them a couple of simple, simple questions that give you an idea of the kind of issues that are the most important issues to them in this election. So that when you make your next approach to those undecided voters, you know what they care about and you can introduce them to Ron Paul by talking about the issues that that voter already told you were the most important issues to them. So the first step is uh, just simply making that, that what's called a non-advocacy call. Uh, we ask you to do it by phone, as Lou said, just because it's quicker to do it that way. You're free to do it going door to door. But we were trying to save you as much time as possible. We realized that some people you will not be able to reach by phone. Some people may not be responsive by phone. And then you'll double back over your list to those people that you haven't reached. And you go knocking on their door for the next step of the process. And then at the end, basically, you have the voter ID, the voter conversion, working with those, those uh, undecided voters. And then at the end, it's just a matter of calling them up and getting them to turn up at the polls or at the caucuses where you need them. So the process is not difficult. This is really not rocket science. And the number of people that you have to deal with and the number of people that you need to turn out to vote is much, much lower than you ever imagined. I mean, imagine if you won your precinct for Ron Paul with simply 37 votes, if your precinct is like mine, you're only going to have 100 people voting. And if we each did that, that's how we win the revolution. So it's critically important that you do the job of a precinct captain and that you also help us to recruit other precinct leaders because if we want to take back our country, that's what it's going to take. It's not going to take us, you know, the way that we change Washington, D.C. is by changing our own backyard. And that's where our responsibility is, is right there in our own backyard. I want to let you know, too, for those of you that are in states where your primary has already happened or perhaps even your